everyone welcome replay viewers I'm so glad you're here type below hashtag replay if you're watching this and stick around because today I'm talking about why um, the just be you being your authentic you really backfires in dating so I really want you to hear that and I'm so glad you came back to watch this so Thank you for being here. This is a opportunity for me to share with you some of the things that are out there in the dating industry that I don't think are helping you. And it's easy to get caught up in messages that aren't, um, or to misunderstand messages and um, not understand then why, if you're, you're following that, it's not working for you. So, welcome. My name is Love Coach Macy, also known as the Reverend Lunch Lady. And this is Mr. Buttery Waffle House. And he really wanted to join us today. So, if you hear the snoring, um, it's him. There he goes. So... Um, today, I want to talk about, um, well, this whole idea. And before we do, I want to share what I do because I forgot to do that. So, I am a love coach. I help the spiritually conscious women find meaningful, lasting love. Welcome. And as you join, share your name. Well, share who you are and where you're from and... Um, I'd love to hear and meet you and get to know you better. So I have spent the last five years full-time creating programs and supporting women to find real, what I like to call unicorn love. And that's the kind of love that you never thought could exist before, but it does. And, um... You know, just today, I was looking on Facebook and I saw someone celebrating their second anniversary up in the mountains. And it's really fun to see, you know, that this really does work. So I am here on a mission to support you, to help you break down all of these things that are actually getting in your way. So today's is big because I am one of the people that often talks about just being you. I mean, that's a big part of my message. But what is misunderstood by so many people um, is that, you know, you're, you're out there, you're going on dates, and you're just totally being yourself. And, you know, then you're not getting a second date. So what, what's going on there? Well, here's the deal. Like, if we aren't in a place where we are liking what we're seeing, so I'm going to sort of outline that because, you know, we want to kind of look at this and know, okay, how is this message then being interpreted and how do we see where we stand in the whole thing? So, you know, we're going to look at a couple different things. If you're looking at your life right now and you're not liking what you're seeing, and what I mean is you're not liking the, the people you're attracting, um, you're not liking um, just even the life that you have, you're not seeing second dates or the, the relationships you've had in the past are, you know, consistently with unavailable people or emotionally unavailable people or you know you're finding that things keep happening over and over again then that is an indication that this whole just being you thing is not going to help because you know I've had women come to me and, and say you know what I'm I'm totally just being myself what's wrong with me and then it come goes into this this rant about, you know, what's wrong with me or, you know, maybe I'm not cut out to even have love. And I promise you that's not the case. But the, the challenge is if we are just being ourselves and it happens to also include 
all the fears, the insecurities, the the pain from the past relationships or, you know, even old patterns that we're unconsciously modeling from our parents or our caregivers or movies or wherever, then yeah, you you're being yourself, but it's coming from a place of probably fear and dysfunction. It's coming from wounds. It's coming from pain. It's coming from resentment. And when we have those filters, then, you know, all we can attract, all we can see and bring into our life are those people that just continue to re reinforce that just being you. So when I am working with my love muffin clients when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with people and why I'm out here sharing with you is because I want you to know that you know you don't have to keep those filters you don't have to that's not that's not really you what your your real just be you is deeper inside there and it's the part of you that really is wise and knowing and it's a part of you that's a part of you that can re can receive love that's a part of you when um you can develop a relationship with it that part of you then um then you can develop relationships healthy loving relationships with others you know it's really a function of our mind you know our mind you know, gets into these mental habits where, you know, we, we're just patterning over and over again. We're going, we're working on autopilot, you know, as a, a yogi and a teacher, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, love muffin and, and the, the practices that I teach do is it brings you back into a deeper place within you that that place that holds that love and that you know when you go out on a date that you're absolutely able to you know purely be there without any of the tricks of our mind or trips tricks of our su subconscious that tend to want to like sabotage things or tend to want to push people away because there's maybe a part of you that's afraid or or tends to just attract the same patterns because even though it's like the suckiest pattern it's kind of comfortable in some way and so you know if you are really frustrated and you're like yeah well I'm just being me I'm showing off I'm like just putting myself on the table you know it may not be that highest wisest self that actually is kind of the grown-up soulful being so you know certainly if you are out there and, and you you want to get dates you want you don't really want a long-term relationship you're like more into the casual dating thing and, and booty calls and whatever then this message doesn't even apply to you. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you get to do whatever you want to do if you're not, um, but if you're, and if you just want to kind of hook up and have fun, I mean, you know, there's time and place for everything. Um, but I specifically, you know, as, you know, a love coach, I am here to support those of you out there who are really in a place where you're saying, you know what, I really know that I want to share my life with someone. And although right now I'm not feeling like confident or secure, or like I'm aware of some, some, some blocks, maybe some pain, some, some of that within you, but you know you want a lasting relationship, then let's talk. Because this is, um, this is the most powerful space to be in, is to know that, you know what, I know I want a lasting relationship. I'm not sure how to get there. 
and I'm aware of the stuff. And it's okay not to be feel ready. And um, but I recommend that if you're not feeling ready and and you know that um, you want something different in your next relationship, that it is gonna take having a plan. It is gonna take um, knowing more. Hi. It is gonna take knowing more personally what it is that you need to nurture and care for and you know kind of unpeel so that you're in that healthy space that in that healthy relationship with yourself so that you can actually model that in a new relationship so i want to um say hi hi everyone so glad you're here and um please post below if you know, you are, you know, no, aware that you want love, but there is part of you that's like, I, I don't know, I can't really think about dating right now. Like, if that's you, post an, a one below, because um, I totally get that, you know, like, it can be a frustrating place to be in. It's like, Oh my God, I really am excited about being with someone, yet, like, I feel stuff. And in, um, in Love Muffin, one of the, the most powerful tools I use is called Regenerating Images and Memory. And I've been studying with the amazing Dr. Deb Sandella, who's partnered with Jack Canfield. Many of you have heard of him. He's a success coach. Um, he wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, and and this this practice is really the most efficient, effective way I've seen to basically change your um, change that I would say energy. It's not really energy, but like change your kind of cellular makeup about you know you. And, and upgrade into a more powerful mindset and experience of yourself. So when you can experience yourself as that power, the powerful spirit that you are and, and know with confidence that you can really access that within you then that's a, an awareness that is going to really serve you in having that kind of unicorn love so that that's like when you're in the unicorn posture and and that's what you know I really notice is the biggest step because hi welcome the biggest um step is you know, that first step, like when I work with people in in my signature process, there, there are three kind of um, phases of this. The first phase is that phase where we're, we know, oh my gosh, well, who I'm being um, seems to continue to kind of bring chaos or bring the wrong relationships or not get me a second date or like I just don't feel connected or whatever it is and you're noticing that your relationships are all over the place then that's just an indicator that there there's some layers and filters that can dissolve away like that will benefit you because when you are feeling strong in relationship and you you know you can navigate it in a way and you're starting to see a different kind of person show up then you know that um you're evolving so um i want to invite any of you who you know know you know in the next six months that you know even if you're feeling kind of like i don't know how to do this that in your heart you want relationship in the next six months or a year then I want to offer you a time to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with me about this 
because when we come together, then I can help you see exactly that kind of block that you aren't aware of that is keeping you single or keeping you from growing into the kind of relationship you ultimately want. And one of my teachers said, which I have on my whiteboard back there you can't see, is what you fail to notice will rule your life. And that sticks with me because the reason why I do these one-on-one -on -one sessions with people, I call them happy and love strategy sessions, is because exactly that. Because if you knew how to kind of step up and beyond and how to prepare for love, when you've done that a while ago, of course you would have. You know, for me personally, I found that there were a couple things that, you know, I believed about myself and I was just kind of just being myself. And in the meantime, I can see why that me, which, you know, I, I just had no idea what I, what was kind of blocking me and influencing my behaviors and influencing my beliefs. I just had no idea that just being me was like attracting, you know, people who just really couldn't be in a, a long-term relationship or people who just weren't willing to be have that deeper emotional connection and neither was I I mean I was saying that I wanted that but I didn't know how to do that um and there was so much of me that I was so afraid to show that my just being me was hiding so much and the, the things that I I were I hid are actually not terrible things and that's what we end up doing is we we start we think we have to edit these things because we don't like these things about ourselves or we think they're not lovable and then that just being you is is not you it's not you so in our a one-on-one -on -one session and a happy and love session we'll we'll um first of all just reach out private message me or put um yes i i want one or want below just say want and i'll i'll message you with a link to set up a time where we can chat and in this we'll figure out what's blocking you you know you may have known ones but i'm here to show you the unknown ones what's blocking you from love and then Look at what it is you ultimately want in your relationship, that kind of relationship, like really together name that right kind of relationship for you, the person that's going to totally light you up. And then from there, you know, we'll talk about like the next steps. And certainly, certainly if you are a good candidate for Love Muffin, I only have two spots left in that program if you're a good candidate for love muffin i will mention that and then we can we can talk about that more specifically um because really let's be honest you know a 45 minute call is not going to solve everything but we can identify things and then talk about you know what it would look like if you had a plan to work through these things and you know, what I say in the bigger picture is that there is this this time, this phase of really preparing for love. Like being able to let go of those things that aren't actually letting you be you in the world. And then the second piece is the piece where we're starting to date. Like in noticing where we we start wanting to hide or run away or our triggers come up. In that phase, there's a, a different level of coaching and guidance that's really needed to personally align you with um, being able to receive that relationship and know which people are the right people for you. Have you ever felt like you weren't good at picking people and you're like, what? I can't even trust myself. If you felt like that, 
put number two below in the comments because if you know you can't trust yourself in dating then that's going to be really confusing i promise it's mm -hmm. not fun and you don't have to feel that way anymore so mm -hmm. that's what we do in the second phase and then the third phase is wow i met this person that i'm really excited about how do i make this mm -hmm grow and last and and healthy so three phases and I have all the steps that you need and it really is a personal experience right we all have our own wounds and triggers and things that we've collected but the beauty of it all is you know with the tools and strategies that I've been trained in to help people kind of move quickly through this it does come from science it does come from you know what we know about human behavior and personality and all of that because that absolutely can be transformed and when you can do that then you can have that amazing unicorn in your life so um and i love doing that with you so post below want if you want to connect on a one-on-one -on -one call or just go ahead and you know click next to my name message me from here and just say yes i would like to connect and i will get you set up on my calendar so that you know you can be either a candidate for love muffin or or just have some awareness about what it is that is blocking you from love what it is that you know you are unconsciously doing that isn't working so I'm so happy you are here thanks for listening and we'll see you really soon bye